Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys, Pisces? Hope you're well. Thanks so much for dropping in. I'm gonna apologize now for the hollow sound. I'm moving, so everything is out of this room other than this table and my, my laptop. <laughs> so everything should be back to normal by a Monday. All right, Pisces, let's see what's happening here. Pisces, wow, these cards want to come out for you. Angel of Balance, just about everyone's getting that. It's like temperance. Oh, yeah, we got a single person here. This could be yourself or another person. Oh, there we go. This is about, there's an energy of balance here. This is whether somebody fits. This is two people, okay, the energy of two people who are very much the same yet different, but you fit. So that's what this card's also about. So it's like temperance. It's an energy of uh, two people. There's some kind of chemistry. So I'm feeling the energy of two people. Someone's single. It could be yourself, the energy of another person. Okay, it's whether someone's right for you or not. So it could be a person thinking here. It's a little sad energy. Uh, I feel this is like the nine of pentacles, but it's about appreciation. So it's an energy of wanting to be appreciated. So I feel as though you've got an energy of kind of, you know, looking at whether someone's right for you or not, but it could be another person, but there's definitely an energy of balance and chemistry. So that could be yourself or another person as well. So it's an energy of somebody who's uh kind of protecting their heart a little bit here. I always feel that with this card, but definitely ready for love. But you can see she's kind of looking over her shoulder. She's kind of looking over her shoulder, kind of holding her heart out there, but a little bit protective. <laughs> Making sure somebody's just right. Let's see what's happening here. What does Pisces need to know about this overall energy surrounding them? Single Pisces and their love life. Yeah, so there's an energy of lots of energy of balance here. So it's whether someone's right for you or not. Now, this could be marriage or commitment. Maybe you're kind of thinking about it or someone is thinking that about you. I do see a Libra energy, so lots of balance energy. We'll see what this is all about. Oops, there we go. Oh, yeah, you have an opportunity. Ooh, you got somebody here who's thinking about uh, commitment. They want to start something, and it's an energy of kind of committing to start something, but it's about uh, doing the right thing starting things off right starting off on the right foot look at that energy i like that so it's a seed being planted it's a solid reliable offer okay it could be a communication but it's a start of something this is somebody here who i feel you know it's an energy of being patient some of you've been patient maybe single for a long time and you're waiting for someone who's just right you want them to come in right and it looks like that's what's happening it could be yourself offering this as well yeah another card of balance Tarot is all about that. So this is something to do with your hopes and dreams, okay? So I do feel there's someone here who admires you, probably even adores you. And I feel this is a person who, I do that Aquarius energy with uh, justice is interesting. So it's an energy with that uh, angel of balance. It's an energy of someone who's looking to see if you're right, if you fit. You know, there's definitely chemistry because nobody's going to come in with that energy if there isn't. Yeah, we have, look at this, it's really nice. Yeah, so I do feel, so there's an energy, somebody's definitely thinking. So it's, a, you know, these are the thoughts that pin someone down. It's a healing energy. So you've been focusing on your money, kind of doing your own thing. So like I say, it could be you or another person. I see a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So there could be a... Uh, a Virgo energy here. You may have that in your chart or another person, but it's about appreciation. See, it's about being admired, being adored. Now, this could be an energy of someone who's very popular too. So I can see that with the star because I a lot of times see that as someone is being adored and admired, especially in love readings. Yeah, you've got someone here who's... <laughs> You know, it's an energy of just being patient, though, pa waiting for somebody who comes in right. And I actually feel uh, you've got something really major going on here. But I do see the healing, taking a little break. Some of you have been taking a break, focusing on your money, if that's yourself. But like I say, it could be another person really focused on that. So it's an energy of, it's a person who likes to be prepared, likes to be comfortable. So it's an energy of being comfortable, being very, you know, it's an energy of wanting somebody you can just be yourself with and be comfortable with. And the Queen of Pentacles likes to prepare ahead. So I can do see, see somebody preparing ahead uh, and then taking a little bit of rest here. So I like this energy. Someone is really, really balanced here. And even with that four of sword, it's also, you know, four, it's 
it's balanced but it's a little pause a little break oh yeah so some of you have been to maybe taking a little break love here okay kind of focus on money just spending some time alone doing things for yourself it's about preparing for the future though some of you got a party or a celebration you got an opportunity you're going to get an offer here to go someplace there's some kind of an event a party a celebration uh, i do see possibly the energy of three people here though um, but it, you know it could be friends or family but i like this energy wow this is it feels really um even though it looks kind of exciting, like something really is going on, it feels really calm. And that's because the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles there. It's a single person, someone who has everything they need. Someone's preparing themselves, um, you know, getting ready, making sure they're prepared, maybe getting, you know, some new clothes, new hairdo, things like that. I like this. being, And somebody's resting up here as well. So this is someone who's ready for love. Like I said, it's, some of you are ready. So this is really good. So I do see possibly traveling, uh, but it's an energy of taking the things you learned from the past, moving forward, very calm. See, it's very calm and peaceful. There's a lot of balance here. Queen of Pentacles is another, look at that. We have the birth of something new, yeah. Some of you are ready for something new. You have someone who adores you. Somebody's coming to offer you. It looks like an invitation, a date, go somewhere. It could be someone introducing you to their friends and family. So if you have been seeing someone, it's very possible uh, there could be some kind of a commitment. It could even be uh, an engagement uh, because I, see, I do see mutual adoration, okay? Being adored. And I feel like it's kind of like it's something where you're going to be, it's like your day, okay? That's what it's telling me. And I do see this beautiful empress, the birth of something new. It's like you're going off on a new path, moving forward calmly and peacefully. You could be just going somewhere. Like someone may invite you to go somewhere. But I'm seeing a very mutual kind of energy here. There we go. Oh, yeah, you've got an opportunity. So you, there's the start of something here. This could actually go somewhere. So you've got somebody who's, you know, it's offering you a cup. Some of you might have a couple of people, I'm telling you. Yeah, we've got the King and Queen of Pentacles in the world. So there's something to do with travel, moving, going somewhere. Um, but it really looks more like a trip. I think you got a person. It's a, it's a, this sometimes is just rest and relaxation. It's R&R. &R. So I feel like you got a person who's going to offer you to go somewhere. They might be a little shy or apprehensive to do that. But we also have the King of Pentacles. So this is someone who's planning something. And they're very meticulous. It's someone who's also prepared, very financially stable. So I feel like what you have is a person who's going to reach out here. I feel this is someone who wants to go somewhere. I feel like there's a trip. But it's going to start something new. Okay. So it's definitely an energy of someone coming in right. Doing things right. You could get an invitation to somebody else's wedding or engagement party. But like it almost looks like just a, a rest. It's time for a break. Hey, do you want to go somewhere? This person's a little apprehensive, not so sure. Okay, probably if you'll accept to this, but it's solid. It's a guarantee. I mean, it could be a ticket to something. Uh, it really looks good. And I do see an energy of two people who are a good fit. Definitely the King and Queen of Pentacles. Two people who are very comfortable with each other. So there's something about being comfortable. Uh, and I actually feel there's a, this mutual adoration. I feel as though you've been preparing. You're preparing for something here. And you're. You, this is something, you know, where you're definitely in that single mode. But this could be this person. Like someone's got some Virgo energy possibly. Uh, but that's really nice. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, definitely there's a Taurus energy here as well with the Empress and that Libra. I love this so much. So let's dig into this a little bit. I don't want to. I like to clarify. I don't want to... I'll go any further with this until I pull out a few more cards so it's a little more specific but I like the yin and yang two people who are a good fit very comfortable okay so that I feel is that beautiful calm and peaceful so if you've been dating someone and you've been getting to know each other they could be at a distance or maybe a trip they may be inviting you somewhere or it could be yourself preparing getting ready taking a break getting yourself all uh, beautiful <laughs> Yeah, I, I see something really fun here. Let's see what this justice is. Yeah, see, there it is. It's confirmation. This is someone coming in just right, okay? It's very solid. This is two people just right for each other. Wow, Pisces. 
all depends who you are here yeah this wants to come out yeah a single person now yeah look at that we got two single people two single people who are just right they have everything they need enjoying the fruits of your labors i feel like it's r and r you're going somewhere i feel like you're both getting cleaned up it's either a, it's some kind of event it looks like a big deal i feel like it's like you're gonna dress up like movie stars i kid you not you're really gonna look good here <laughs> wow two people who are just right a very good fit chemistry but it's very calm um, definitely a lot of financial stability here two people who like to be prepared for the future financially always look into the future so we have the star why is this here for pisces oh there we go so we have the queen of wands interesting aries leo Sag sagittarius so this oh yeah there's definitely someone someone very popular very well known you could be going it could be a show or an event it looks like it could be even a ticket but it's an energy of justice and balance it's about having to dress nice coming together now there could be other people involved i think this is a big deal it looks like a big event uh, but the queen of rods is someone who knows what they want definitely but very sexy so there's something someone dressing really sexy just right also this is a when i see these two together this is someone who accessorizes but i feel like both people are going to be in this energy wow it's a big deal <laughs> i like this tell me about the angel of balance there it is yeah there's the star so wow this is really 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 um, lots of confirmation here two people dressed like movie stars is what it looks like in fact you could be very well known very popular you could be um, you know it's like you're gonna go and everyone's gonna make a fuss that's what I feel but it's very grounded like I feel like it's it's got this humble energy as well Queen of Pentacles why is this here yeah so it's an energy of someone yeah some of you've been maybe saving money for this okay holding on to things keeping things close to your chest a little bit in protective mode but it could be saving money r and r there's a trip this is a big deal okay i feel like it's about um it's definitely an energy of being protective though so we'll see yeah this is a trip and you're going places somewhere too not to be negative but hold on to your uh, your purse your wallet things like that okay i feel there's going to be people yeah, slow and steady wins the race. This is a, something that's being planned, planning for success, kind of holding back, knowing when to kind of hold back. Okay, um, I like this. It's an error, but it feels as though you're, it's funny, I don't see this card like that long, but it's telling me it's like you're saving for something. Okay, you're saving money for something, and it's something that's been long time coming. Okay, a big deal, or it's this person. It's also very protective. Uh, when you go with this person, they're going to be very, they're going to keep you close to them, is what I feel. I know who this is, but it's someone who adores you, but they see you as very sexy, very charming. Um, you know, I love it. You know what you want, you're not settling to, and I can see this energy of not giving in. What I do see, though, there may be a sleepover. It could be a hotel, things like that. Uh, I, I feel as though there's <laughs> possibly separate rooms here, though, for some of you. So it's definitely... I mean, maybe not. We'll see. It's what popped into my head, though. So the Three of Cups. Yeah, so I do see success and victory here. Oh, yeah. We've got someone strategizing. This is an energy of someone strategizing. They're doing a lot of thinking. Okay, so someone who's strategizing to have success. I think you got a person who's planning this, and this could be them very protective. They're kind of holding back, maybe waiting for the right time, too. This is someone who's preparing for a really long time. I see two people who actually adore each other, okay? But uh, something's being left behind here, and it's going to be your single life, because this is going to start, it's a start of something just right, okay? Like I say, it could be an engagement for some of you. If you've been dating someone, but you feel kind of single, and all of a sudden there's you know, something major this person's planning they want it to be successful it's been planned thought thought out very clearly and it is going to be a success but it is a win or lose energy so i do think this is someone keeping it close to their chest um you know it, it could be a secret with that energy but i don't feel that too much it could be this person who saved a lot for something and it could be a gift something really nice like Oh yeah, this is really nice. Tell me about appreciation. Why is this here? Pisces, you got something good going on. Appreciation. 
There we go. Yeah, so something you've been waiting for, okay, or this person's been waiting. So there's a lot of abundance flowing. There's something big. I think there's going to be, uh, could be a p gift, a piece of jewelry, you know, could be anything, something to wear. Because I feel like, I mean, you could even just go someplace. It's a sleepover, definitely. I'm feeling possibly a hotel, R&R, &R, uh, maybe even going shopping together. So feel like you, you know about it. I don't feel like it's a secret. I think you know about this. You're saving. And there's going to be uh, possibly um, shopping. It's going to be successful. I see a victory. Things being acknowledged. I see you know, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. I haven't seen a reading like this with this so much positive energy for so long. But I do see this person being a little shy about something. Now, it could be you. There's something that needs to be uh, you know, said here could have to do with this sleepover, kind of taking things slow. Uh, there's a, definitely an energy here, very sexy, very sensuous. We have the Empress here, of course, we have that, right? And we have the Queen of Rods. Oh, yeah, there's some passion here. <laughs> well, someone's really doing themselves up for this. I mean, it could be just a date, but it's definitely special, okay? It's definitely something special that's going to create change. Uh, it's an energy of two people feeling on top of the world. And I'm going to tell you, there's somebody here. Uh, it's like they're taking you somewhere. They're keeping you close to them. They're protective. It's like they kind of don't want anyone to get close to you. Okay. So there could be other people around. I definitely see other energies. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Yeah, we got something going on. Yeah, there's a lot of, there's some passion here. This person's uh, definitely feeling really enthusiastic with this Empress energy. And this is where there's this change, okay? Now, it's a feeling on top of the world that someone here is a little shy or apprehensive about something. And it may be, like I say, it could be a little, you know, they're planning it, preparing. They want to win. It's a win or lose situation and they're going to offer you something. They're planning and preparing. And I do feel there's, it's something that's costing a little bit of money as well. But I, I, I still feel like you know, okay? If you don't know about it, this is their energy. Uh, it's very protective energy protective of you keeping you close okay so interesting yeah the wheel of fortune so this is something that's definitely going to be a whole new cycle feeling on top of the world there's change something is going to change uh, and it's this energy of the yin and yang so there's definitely a very close energy okay uh, definitely definitely a, a, an air of, of romance here but look at that yin and yang two people are just right a perfect fit this is lovely two people who fit together look together you look like movie stars like i kid you not you're going to be dressing up for this what is this the world i mean you could be doing this on your own literally and you could meet somebody at something too but i do see an offer you know or it's two people who have tickets or two people going to the same place it's possible but i really feel this person strategizing and planning slow and steady wins the race here you know, the Knight of Pentacles can be somebody very sexy and sensuous as well. You know, like you can see this energy. It's nice. Not seeing the lovers yet, but because I feel there's a little apprehensive, you know, about the world, about the change, how things are evolving. Is it going to go in their favor? They're apprehensive. So I feel like it has to do with the after party or something after the, the gathering, the event. I do feel there's a sleepover. I do feel it involves a little bit of travel. I do see communication to people. This is two people who've, uh, like I say, if you've been dating somebody and you're getting to know them and you're both still single, you're still in single mode, uh, you, you know, it's where you've gone, you've learned about each other here. It's also a card of learning, thinking, two people communicating, moving forward calmly and peacefully where you grow closer. So it's something about growing closer. Tell me about the world. Yeah, so I do see someone preparing for success. They're planning something. They plan this. They want it to be successful. I do think this person has a sense of pride, and they're going to be have a lot of pride being with you because you look so good. You're so sexy. So there's this. This person's really in their head about this. So I do see an Aquarius energy here and a Libra. Uh, I love this. So but that's, that's just the energy of justice, balance, doing things right, saying the right thing, starting off just right. This is perfect. Couldn't really be any better. Just that little bit of apprehension there. But I think this person's protective. Um, I feel like if, you, if there is a party celebration, there's other people around. Someone's protective of you. They're keeping you close to you. 
or you feel that way. Um, could be somebody comes over to you and this person is right there, you know, they got their sword up. But it's really to do with this king and queen of pentacles. Now, I gotta, I gotta be honest, um, it just popped into my head. It's, I can see the energy of it here. You could go with one person and meet another person. I hate to say that, but I see someone giving you some attention. It's creating the change. But I do see someone planning for success, but they're a little apprehensive, a little bit of shy or apprehensive about something. It's going to be, it's that's the birth of something new and then something starts, okay? It's going in your favor here. King of Pentacles. Yeah, so there it is. There's chemistry, temperance. This person's being patient. They know they need to be patient if they want to have success. So there's definitely that energy of passion, you know. They're feeling really enthusiastic. And then there's the apprehension. So they're going to ask, they're asking something here. And they're hoping it's successful. I feel their ego's getting in the way a little bit. Okay, but they want this to work. I can see it. They prepared. This person's dressing for success too. Like it's an energy of uh, someone who's successful. And I feel they're definitely going to be giving you a lot of attention, keeping you close. They don't want anyone else giving you attention. I can see that too. So, oh my. Pisces, there you go. You got something going on. And it looks like it's all about one thing. Tell me about the page of cups. Yeah, see, this person's very curious. Yeah, they don't, there's something they're apprehensive. They don't want to tell you, but or they want to ask something and they're curious and they're not. I don't know if they're going to say anything. They're just going to be patient and wait, you know, likely for the right time, saying it in the right way. Oh my. Tell me about yin and yang. Yeah, so I do see communication things, a lot of passion, a lot of talk. Uh, things moving forward here yeah so this is where things start to sp speed up now i'm gonna tell you if you go someplace by yourself it is very possible you're saving money for something you're going someplace and this person is you actually could meet somebody there because it's the start of somebody it's about just right and you're looking just right as well very sexy okay this person is dressing for success they look successful I think this is an energy of uh, this. And I'm going to tell you, this person, it's like the, the feeling on top of the world. You know, they're planning for this. They know this is going to go well. And then all of a sudden they get a little apprehensive. Uh, I feel like they're going to keep it to themselves. Okay, they're tempering. They're being patient. They're waiting for the right opportunity. And then all of a sudden there's that passion. Yeah, they're going to be asking about something here. <laughs> I see what's happening, yeah. We have the woman holding a heart, yeah. You're feeling it, too. You're feeling it. You're kind of holding back, though. You're not offering too much, see, and that's what it is. I think this person knows there's something here. You're in protective mode. Like, you're not going to... I don't think you're going to rush into anything. You want this person to be a little patient, okay? There's something... There's definitely a lot of passion, though. This person's very enthusiastic. A little sad energy, you know? Oh, yeah. Very charming, though. They're pushing. They're going to push through that fear. Yeah. But see, it's about being responsible. It's about justice, doing the right thing. I knew this was going to come out. Yeah. They want to do the right thing, and it's going to weigh on them a little bit, too. I can see it. But it's, you know, it's about do, being responsible, taking responsibility. So they're going to try to do things the right way. It's about doing things just right. So, yeah, they want this to be successful. So, <laughs> yeah. They're going to do the right thing. I can see it. You know, they want to. They want this to work. So, you, yeah, you got, there you go. There's your emperor. What can I say? This reading was just meant to be. I mean, these duplicate cards uh, coming out like that. I do feel like you're in a little bit of protective mode, okay? It's a protection kind of. But I, I also see somebody wanting to have success. They're strategizing, see? They want... They want a little more than you're probably willing to give, especially if this is a first date and you're going someplace. I mean, this could be going someplace, going shopping, trying on clothes. This person, it's like they're, you know, they're trying to, and I feel they're going to try to impress you somewhat too, but I do think they're going to do the right thing. I feel like they're apprehensive about asking you, okay? And it could involve a sleepover. Like I say, this could be all part of this, right? I see R&R, &R, a rest, a break, a hotel, sleeping. So, okay. 
Both of you have been working a lot, so I feel like you know who this is. If you don't know who it is, you're going to meet this person at this uh, event, or there's two. And it's very possible you've got a couple people. Someone's definitely protective. They're keeping you close. And you're kind of, you know, kind of holding back. You're not so sure about something here, you know. Queen of Pentacles likes to take a little bit of time to get comfortable with someone. So there's that energy of being comfortable. So you might have someone here. If you got a couple people around and you are going to this place alone, it's possible. Uh, you've got somebody who strategizes and how to have success with you. It's almost like there's a little, I don't see competition, but... Yeah, I, I see somebody possibly making a bit of a move here. And the other person doesn't want other someone to give you attention, you see. So I see that too. Interesting energy. Pisces, this is fun. And I feel like this is something really cool. If you do know what it is you're preparing, okay, saving money. I mean, it's possible you're going somewhere and you're just going to meet somebody. You could be going alone. This person's going alone. But it's I see the waiting waiting for something, waiting for abundance, and it's an energy of having to be patient. I think someone here has to wait. You may be telling someone to wait, okay? You, you, I think you know where I'm going with this. I can see this person. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it, right? They want to do the right thing, so I do see some burdens. I see it it's kind of bothering them a little bit, or if there is someone giving you attention, okay, it's going to bother them. But I do see possibly a little baggage being need to be left behind. But And I do feel it's an energy of giving this person attention so they can kind of let go of it. So, you know, I feel this is like a really unusual reading for you. So that's why it feels special. But we have the emperor and the empress, the king and queen of pentacles. You're only offering this person so much because of the empress energy. Uh, but this person wants things to go in their favor, so they're going to be giving you lots of attention. And I definitely, they don't want anyone else to. I can see that. Yeah, so they may want to talk about it, but they're apprehensive. It might bother them, but I think they're going to keep it to themselves, wait for the right time. They're being patient, but you see this temptation? This person's so tempted, but they're, I feel it's just really about them doing the right thing. That passion, you know, we got that emperor. The emperor wants what the emperor wants, not afraid to go for it either. So, you know, it's definitely a uh, Aries, Taurus energy in this reading. Sagittarius, definitely the heavy Sag. So it's definitely some kind of, it could be an adventure, like I say, a trip going somewhere. And uh, if you are, if you do get an invitation for somebody and you decide to get your hair done, make yourself look good, okay? I mean, you could be, both going alone and meet them but yeah it almost looks like it's there's some kind of plan but that could come later at the event so uh, it's definitely very positive i mean this could be going to a concert i see you know movie stars you know i don't know is there some kind of concert going on somewhere i don't know about <laughs> you know the queen of rods this could be who you're going to see i don't know but it could even, like I say, it could be you, very sexy, very, you know, very popular, somebody who gets a lot of attention, you see. Empress energy has a lot of abundance. Beautiful. Pisces, I wish you the very best. Okay, with this, you guys will have to let me know. Now, this is something you might not even know about. Because uh, I do see two single people. It's possible it's just something that's going to start, but it's something just right. Some of you might be buying it. I do see with the Empress in the world, is a, uh, sometimes you're, um, it's a big purchase, buying something really, really special. Okay? It's a big deal. Sometimes it's just buying something really big, something expensive. Now, it could be something being given to you or your you're saving money for it, okay? Because there's something going on. We'll see, you guys let me know. I wish you the very best, whatever it is. Have a good time, all right? See you later, Pisces.